you YouTubers, welcome back. A uh, bit of a new location for this sort of video. Um, all this is, is a little follow up video, just going through some of the brief functions of the uh, Colchester student after the new to me uh, machine there. I'm uh, just going to go through some of the, the key features on it, some of the, the things it came with, some of the accessories it came with, and also there's still obviously stuff out there you can still get hold of for it. Um, and then just uh, you know, just going through some of the the dials, some of the knobs, etc. What what they do, where they are. Basically, same as most of the layers. Because obviously each one has its own little layer. So I'm just going to do that now just to show you what they are and where they are. So we'll start with a few pictures. Uh, here you can see like the lead, uh, the chuck keys for the lead. Um, also some sensors, drill chuck, etc. Uh, a few spanners and Allen keys that came with it, and the original four-way indexing tool post which um, is, is good it's a nice big tool post but I've swapped it out for a quick change at the moment so I can just uh, borrow things off the, the box food. Um, this next picture again some standard stuff so we've got a, a catch plate when you uh, turn between centres the big face plate uh, it's got the, uh, the change gears there for when we're changing um, different uh, thread pitches when we're cutting those uh, spur jaws for the, the, uh, the chuck um, there's also a, a, a bed stop, a uh, micro just bed stop when you, you know, you're facing up to, to, um, up to a face, or sorry, turning up to a face. So that's the, uh, we've got a fixed steady and we've also got a travelling steady, which if you watched the last video, we didn't have one of those, but I managed to find one, managed to source one, uh, really tough to get hold of that. So we've got the full complement of steadies there. Uh, next pick, we've got... Um, a, another three jaw chuck, the last three jaw chuck actually, I just forgot to mention it on the last picture, is actually uh, soft jaws, um, so you can machine those to, to do uh, any work you just want to hold in that, so that had that. Uh, so this is another three jaw chuck, a small one, obviously you can tell it's not really been used much with the machine, with a bit of rust on it. Uh, the four jaw, which uh, I'll get a lot of use by myself, and we've also got this, um, this collet, lever collet uh, set here. Um, so you can feed bar through from the, the headstock and just uh, engage the lever to and leave the machine running in between operations. And in this next one is the, the three jaw, which you'll see on the lathe in a second, the three jaw chuck and also another uh, collet chuck which works with a uh, like a big um, chuck key, which was in one of the, in the first picture. Uh, nice set of uh, collets there, so we can uh, do some accurate turning on the lathe. So right, let's get on with some uh, some video now and just show you where the, where the, the controls etc are on the machine. Okay, so bear with me on this one, we've gone a bit handheld here. So, first of all, obviously we've got the chuck. You cross, you cross slide as normal, top slide the same. Uh, on this particular one we've got the rear tool post, which three Allen keys, that can actually slide up and down. So when you actually do part off, it's having to bring your cross slide all the way in, you can bring the tool there ready, less distance to travel when parting off. <coughs> Obviously you've got to, also the, that's the scale um, for the DRO, and on this one it's only got DRO on the cross slide, it's actually got it on the actual length of the bed, um, which I'm thinking I might try and get all the one, it's an old uh, AccuRead um, DRO as you can see on the, the picture earlier, um, actually I might put it in here so on this picture now. Um, you can see it there, so it's not like you read one. So yeah, I might get a might get one for it. So yeah, so going back onto the, the tail stock, uh, it's normal tail stock, clamp lever, and then that's your locking lever to lock the spindle there. Um, coming down, we've got a thread indicator when you're cutting threads. You get your lead screw and your, your power feed um, uh, lever in there, and then you've got your your saddle, which is again, again your normal forward and back, and you traverse your saddle, and then you've got your levers for that one's for your um, for your lead screw for when you're cutting thread, and this one's for your, your power feed. I'll go through those in a second. And to the right of it is your main lever, which is your reverse, your neutral, and then your down position is for your forward of your mortar. So going back up to the headstock, there's just a few other tools where I keep them. Um, so this is your speed selector, uh, quite a simple thing. You've got an outer ring with colours, you've got arrows with colours, and then these 
colours at the top. So when you turn the outer ring, um, you've got to make sure that they all line up so you, you, your next gears are meshed in. And this arrow gives you speed, so when you're on blue, 170, red, 127, etc, etc. And it goes all the way from 22 right up to 1800. Uh, then on here is your selection. Oh, besides that, you've got your, your emergency stop button, which we have down here anyway on a, a pedal as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that's for your pump, which it has got. The pump is at the back there. Um, like I said, I've not really got it connected up. I, I don't tend to use them a lot. They just make a lot of mess. If I'm going to do a bit of production, possibly. So it is there to, you know, if I want to use it. So on here, you've got your, your selectors for all your different thread pitches. Um, and all you do is you look on the chart and you you, you select it into um, like A, B, or C, and your etc. And your numbers. So, so for instance, if we come in here, we want to cut. If you can see that, let's just say I don't know metric pitch one two five. So you want it in L, which is this gear channel here, which it's on. What I tend to do, I just keep a little magnet, and then when I've set the gears at the back. I'll put the magnet on there, so no, <coughs> I'm on L. And then if you do change, go to H, you know you're on H. Just a nice little little tip there for you. So yes, what did I say? We wanted L, and then S. So I've got a funny feeling this might already be in it, so this is in S. Um, and then we want 3. So you go to 3, I think we're I think on this one here. So I think we're already in 3, yeah. I think this is going to be what we set up, to be honest. And then in Y, yes, it is sorry, set to Y. But all you do, you just want to move and just, you just change it to, to whatever it does say to, to do. And that then does your lead screw um, to cut your thread. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll just run it now. What I'll actually do, I'll probably mute this um, because it is quite loud. I'll just take the, the sound down a bit. It is quite, quite loud, like most layers have then running. Oh, and by the way, I just keep all my sort of all the bits on the photograph, I just keep them under there. A little shelf I've made, so they're handy, but they're out of way. So, right, so first of all, underneath here, I have a, an isolator. Oh, sorry, that's the isolator. <coughs> and when that comes on, my lamp comes on as well. So, one thing I do know is when that lamp's on, uh, obviously, I know the, the power's on. So, um, so yes, yeah, so all you do, that's how you want to run it, basically, this handle. That was running at uh, 1340 revs a minute, so we'll take this down to a slower speed. So you just change the gears over. So now we've got the, the speed slowed down. I can show you the, the lead screw engagement. This lever here. And that's now cutting, because the layer's going slow, we're now cutting the thread we chose, in a simple case of, that's disengaged. So we've just sped the machine up a little bit um, for the power feed, because it does run quite a bit slower. So again, that's engagement with this lever underneath. And you can see the power feed. Disengage. It also has power cross feed, which you use by pulling this knob out here. Same lever again, and that's your power cross feed. That's simple. Another thing i uh, just quickly show you is uh, this lever here on the front panel, which is uh, changes the direction of your power feed and your, your lead screw. So you can uh, so, you, so on your power feed on your cross slide, you can either let it go in that direction. So you reverse that lever, and it'll come back this way. And same on your your carriage, it'll either go towards the chuck or back from the chuck. And also with your leads, you can do exactly the same. One other little thing you might wonder what this spanner's for. Spanner fits onto this nut here, and this is your 
your saddle lock, it locks the whole carriage um, onto the bed. And that's basically the main features I say most lathes have. Um, and like I say, it's just getting used to where they are and, get, and uh, getting to know them a little bit. So there you go, job done. Uh, like I say, really nice, nice piece of kit. I'm, you know, I'm glad I got it. Uh, it's up on wooden blocks at the moment. Uh, I'll sort out some sort of feet for it or make a frame for it at some point. At the moment, just sort of getting it, getting used to it, uh, getting the feel for it. Each each lathe, even the same model, they all have their own little quirks. Um, like I said, so just getting used to this one. Hopefully, it'll get featured uh, on some some videos soon, making different things. I said, I just need a bit more tooling for it. Um, I you know, see actual lathe tools just especially for this this particular lathe uh, at the moment I say I'm borrowing stuff from the Boxford um, hence this tool ball so I can put the tool straight off the Boxford onto here I put a little a riser piece in there uh, to get it somewhere near the centre right so that's a, a little thing we've done with that uh, but yeah absolutely fantastic happy with it if you've got any questions about this machine pop them down below um, and like I say anybody else watching get involved answer the question if you know the answers because uh, we're building a nice little community between us it's been fantastic so yeah thanks youtubers and as always until next time it'll break <laughs>